us your school in 20 seconds. Well, Louis, I always find it difficult to answer those questions, so I'll just use a whole range of words. I would say, uh, I would say energy, I would say fun, I would say lots of fizz, I would say ambitious, I would say it's traditional, I would say it's relevant, and uh, above all, I would say it's amazing. Is that, is, that, is that the sort of answer you're looking for? Yeah. Thank you very much, Lou. If you could change one thing about your school, what would it be? Oh, say, now, I, you know, the, getting asked questions like that, you've got to think of a positive out of a negative. So I'm going to say, I, one thing I would change about our school is I wish we could be in the part of the world where it doesn't rain as much as it does. Because that's been really annoying this term in particular, hasn't it? Yeah. Exactly. What is your greatest extravagance? Right, OK. So um, I've become a little bit obsessed with my running when I'm not at work. And so I don't tell Mrs Banks how much I pay for a pair of trainers. I keep that quite quiet. So my greatest extravagance is the brand new pair of trainers that are sat at home ready for me to try out this weekend. Who is your hero? Well, Zane, we all have heroes, I guess. And so if I transport myself back to when I was your age, which was a long, long time ago, I would say that my hero then would have been somebody called Sebastian Coe. Now, you won't know who Sebastian Coe is. He was a runner, and he was a world record holder for the distance that I always used to run when I was at school. It was my, my best thing I did at school in sport. And so he was, he was probably my hero. More recently, I, 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 I struggled to name one person but uh, there are so many great people in education, I probably should name somebody. I shall name J. Heald Jenkins, who was the founder of Caldecott. What's your go-to karaoke song? What? Louis? OK, go-to karaoke song has got to be any song by Oasis. Do you know who Oasis are? No. Oh. Go home tonight, mummy. Please, can we put some Oasis on Spotify? She'll, it'll be fine. She'll do it. <laughs> What's the next question? What phrase or word do you overuse most? Ooh. Now, I do know this because in this world that we're living in of virtual films and so on, you do start to reflect. I think my greatest criticism myself is when I slip into some pathetic Hugh Grant mode of umming and erring in the middle of a sentence, which I've got to cut out, with no ums and ers in this at all. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Okay, so um, I, I guess I would go for invisibility, because I could creep along the corridors and catch you all out from time to time if I wanted to. That would be good. That would be good. What three words would you use to describe yourself? Uh, enthusiastic, uh, caring, and ambitious. Is that okay? I probably could have named three completely different words, but that feels okay. Yeah. Good. What's your favourite memory from your school days? Oh, well, that's easy. Um, it, it's got to be one of those snow days. And I'm not talking about the snow day when you can't get to school. I'm talking about the snow day when you can get to school, but then the school day can't function properly because most people are still at home. So you kind of collapse the timetable, you're having snowball fights, and uh, there were some really happy memories of my childhood. Absolutely. When you leave school, what will your legacy be? Okay, um, legacy is a big word, and I guess, fair question to ask, I would probably say that I'd like my legacy of my time as head of Caldecott to be one where uh, we are known for our good, kind, spirited boys who are achieving great things, maybe in the classroom, maybe outside the classroom, and in doing all of that, they go to top senior schools. It's got to be about the boys. Caldecott's all about the boys, so it's got to be about the boys. Okay.